Hi, everybody. Welcome to the Retirement Fingerprint Minute. We're talking about today the end of year tax planning tips. Now, whether it's January or December, you need to think about what do I need to do by the end of the year? So these tips work mid-year, beginning of the year, but certainly end of year. So you can get for all our procrastinators out there to get these things taken care of and sort of check it off your list. So when it comes to tax planning, a lot of people will file in April and say, how much do I owe? We want to try and get ahead of that again throughout the year, if not at the end of the year. Um, there's some things you could do after calendar year, but you want to make sure you're maximizing all your deductions. Maybe that's giving to charity through your retirement account or giving to charity in general, maxing out your retirement accounts, whether it's a 401k at work or maxing out your IRA accounts, making sure you get that tax deduction. If you are in a very high tax bracket and you're in your highest earning years currently, um, you want to make sure to get as much deductions as you can. If you have a health savings account, it's a great way to either save money towards retirement as kind of a pseudo IRA or have money in that account that you can use tax-free for medical expenses during retirement. The other thing that you also want to make sure certainly by year end is if you have those flexible spending accounts at work. So if your employer offers them where you can put money in there and pay for medical expenses, or if you have a dependent care FSA where you use it to pay for child care, either way, you want to make sure because those balances tend to go away at the end of the year, it's use it or lose it. Some plans or employers allow you to carry that forward the following year for two and a half months or up to $550 of carry forward. But for the majority of you, those funds just completely deplete. You want to make sure if you have money in there, don't leave free money on the table. So those are the, uh, the things that you want to take into consideration. Looking at giving to charity, if you are at the stage where you're over age 72, you can look at giving to charity through your retirement accounts, which can help offset taxes and reduce your obligation of your required minimum distribution. So you want to check with your tax consultant or CPA, but that is a great way to mitigate taxes and also help out a charity that's uh, you know of your choice. So make sure you get those deductions in. Make sure you spend the free money and make sure if your employer is matching, you definitely contribute up to the match and get as much in there as possible. And, um, and those are the tips that I have for you. So hopefully that's helpful. I know it was quick, but uh, we're happy to answer any more questions that you have. And uh, we look forward to next time. Take care.